My email workflow is very simple and I love Titan's minimalist user interface because it just makes everything that much easier. As a general rule, we only use emails to communicate with clients and developers, external people that is. Internally, as a team, we don't really use emails for communication, but that's a topic for another day. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. In this video, we'll be going through my simple email workflow with Titan Mail. For every email I send out, I always track it. That way, I know when someone has opened my email or not. I do this to avoid sending too many emails that are not being read. Each time someone opens an email, I get notified about it. The next thing I do once I know that an email has been opened is obviously to wait. And since I have a lot of work to do, I tend to forget following up with people if I wait for too long. So for that, I set up a follow-up reminder. Depending on how urgent the matter is, I can follow up a certain number of days if I don't get a response for an email that I've sent. I love that I can do this in my email app that I don't have to create a reminder in a different app. That would just be exhausting, especially when there's too many emails coming through. This reminders feature allows me to follow up on emails that matter. Titan Mail has calendar and contacts apps. I don't use the calendar at all because setting it up with iCall feels like too much work, considering there are plenty of apps that make this super easy. I do, however, use their contacts app. Titan Contacts lets you add a lot of information about the people you're communicating with. It helps to have all of that in one app. So for each contact, I can add useful information like birthdays, phone numbers, the company information, and some notes about them. I can quickly go through it without leaving the app, which helps a lot. I hope Titan can integrate the two apps in the future so that I don't have to go to the contact app to view this information. It'll be cool if I could just click on a contact's name in the email app and see everything I need. The most frustrating thing about Titan contacts is the inability to export your contacts as a CVS file. If you ever want to share your contacts out of the app, you will have to copy all the contacts one by one. Let's hope our developers will add that feature in the future so we're able to at least export our contacts very easily. What's your email workflow like? Is it as simple as mine or a bit more complicated? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.